Yo Gamer Nemi here and welcome back to another Tekken 7 video, Tekken 8 video rather, on our boy Lazur. We finally have our hands on the Tekken 8 beta my boys. This is Xbox to getting used to the controller. It's kind of weird playing this sticky sticky d-pad but you know in there getting used to it. So I have been practicing this guy the whole day, like since morning. So I thought to myself, let me not forget to actually record the video, my boy, right? So I want to talk about hit this time. Let's talk about Lars's hit mechanic and how to fully utilize it efficiently because our boy definitely has one of the best hit mechanic in the game, like free, right? Top five, I swear, I swear. Like this guy's hit is so strong I can believe top 5 hit mechanic in the game. So let's talk about it. So first, let's talk about his hit engagers. So we talk about the best way to enter into hit and Lars also has one of the best hit engagers in the game. Not maybe the best, but they are strong. So we have 3 plus 4, which used to be his old 4 4 3. This is awesome because it can be used as your whiff punisher, right? Not many characters have a whiff punisher hit engager, like Asuka for example. So this is really really good, easy easy with Punisher, that's his first one. His second one is 1-1-1. One, 1-1-1, one, one. One, 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 definitely top 5. Sorry, I'm having these frame drops every time I think I'm finding a match. I don't know what's up with Xbox, but I can't seem to get a match for the life of me. So we're gonna experience all these like lag spikes and drops, so guys, sorry about that, just in case. So going forward. So one 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 what makes it good is first of all, it's a hit confirmable. Why? Hit confirmable, 10 string buff. Uh, 10 frame string. I got this buff back in Tekken 7, I think it's on 4. So this makes it so that you can fish, right? You can fish for a hit engager, which is really, really good. Again, not many characters have this 10 frame hit engager. I think only Law has that as well. So it's only Lars and Law, which makes it really, really good. I counter it, get off me move, right? Into hit. Oh man, this is amazing. Amazing top five top five best hit engager. Argue with me, bro. I don't care. It's so strong. It's so strong. Hit confirmable. Oh my god. Then the rest of his hit engagers are from stun. So we have forward three, forward three, dynamic entry three. So forward three, three basically. So now what makes this good is because it's a mix up, right? Uh, of course, Lars now has a new four from DE. They took away the hell sweep. So it's now kind of like a, a low check, right? So you can use this as a mix-up with a dynamic entry 3, which makes it really, really good. So best use for Oki, as Oki in my opinion. So 4 4 3 plus 2 for knockdown, just a scenario, right? So 4 4 1 plus 2, boom, dash up, into hit, right? They're not ducking, check their toes, check their toes, right? This is basically how you must utilize this move. Maybe if you know they're respecting you, like when you do DE, right? Just go for it then. Because this can be floated, they can float you out of this, so be careful. And this, I believe, does not high crash. I haven't had the chance to test this yet, but I don't think it high crashes or low profiles. So as of, as of now, what I think is you must first use this as an okay mix-up. Uh, he has another one in Senate Entry. Sorry, uh, let's talk about his DE one as well. Now, this one is the least right it's not the best i think it's the worst amongst all his hit engagers it's basically you can't hit confirm this it's a high high string they basically have to do it and hope they don't duck right they hope it hits unless maybe you choose to use it as a hit dash combo right it would be something like this yeah something like that right but in the neutral, it's not really that good. I don't, I don't encourage using this, right? It's very risky, but you can always mix it up by going into CE, right? So it does have some mind game to it, but overall, it's not really that great. So as of now, stay away from this move, guys. So those, no, no, we have one last one, silent entry one. This one is amazing as well. Because just like CE, sorry, DE3, you also use this basically as a mix-up, right, from his silent entry. So, again, as in Oki, you can choose to go to silent entry, right? Uh, uh, boom, hit, right? This one is actually better because you do have 50-50 with the CE3, right? So, 
mind games mind games uh he does have talked about the dynamic entry three right which is basically Lars's only move that is plus that forces a silent entry mix up on block Lars has never had this and my sources tell me it's plus three right so it's a mix up between silent entry one and silent entry let's say the law sorry yeah the law that's the mix up right so you can if you want you can check this boom they've blocked so you have layers to your mix ups and you do have the opportunity to get into it twice once in dynamic entry and three times in silent entry so as you can see guys his tools to get into se into hit sorry are really really strong they are strong very situational though right you can't just throw things out you can fish with three plus four if you want but overall he has Right, the ways you can get into hit are covered by all of his options in a neutral, right? Get off me move, counter hit, in the stance mix ups, right? Layer the stance mix ups into hit. So, getting into hit as lands shouldn't be very, very difficult. You do have the options, although you do, you should use this smart. And that's what I really love about Lars so far in Tekken 8. He seems like a very, very technical character, right? Stance transitions, you have to be, you have to be woke. Like, you have to be careful on how you use uh, the Lars stance transition mix-ups. So those are his most effective ways to get into hit. Uh, the least effective, of course, being DE12. So now, let's talk about Lars's hit mechanics. So... Lars basically has two things involved when he goes into hit. So firstly, his limited entry, which is the spinneroon stance, this one, it gets enhanced, right? So in neutral, he has two moves from this stance. The first one being a law. Now, I don't think this is launch punishment, but I haven't tested it, so I'm not sure. But he has limited entry one, which is a law, tracks both sides. Uh, limited entry two. Which is unsafe. I did make a mistake in a previous video and say it was safe. It's highly unsafe in neutral. So it must be like minus 10 or something. So these are the two moves that Lars has whilst in the neutral form limited entry. But once you are in hit, he goes crazy. He goes crazy. Because first of all, one becomes a hill sweep, right? Becomes enhanced, becomes knockdown low, so strong. I also don't think this is launch punishable, but it requires testing. And his second one, the mid, becomes a natural launcher on hit. How sick is that? Natural launcher on hit. So now you have layers to your limited entry mix up, right? Is it going to go low? Or is it going to go mid and launch my ass? So that's basically the first. Uh, gimmick or ability Lars has lost in hit his limited entry becomes enhanced which is very very strong secondly which is amazing as well Lars gets a shoulder bash right this thing is like super blast on block and it forces a mix-up in silent entry because it goes directly into SE right so you can go low or you can go mid or you can choose to go into limited entry and mix them up again so there's like layers to your mix up mix ups on mix ups this is why i say Lars is really really strong because Lars has never had any move on block that forces silent entry mix up so this is huge for our boy he can finally force a mix up on block right not, not like zafina who could do that right like lay it's now Lars as well, but you have to be in here to get the shoulder punch, right? Except from, of course, DE3 is the only move that forces a silent entry mix-up with, you know, on block. Excuse me, I have a horrible flu. His hit dash, so his shoulder bashing hit does the same thing now. So basically, you have a 50-50 between the low and the mids that he has in silent entry. So this is Lars's gimmick whilst in hit. Enhanced limited entry moves, right? The mid and the low. 50-50. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, Xbox, please, please. You can't give me a match, then just stop fucking. Okay, and finally the shoulder bash. Okay, so finally 
Let's talk about how you best utilize both of these tools. Let's start with the shoulder bash. Okay, so first thing you should know is when you go into a manual hit, right, you get about 70% or 60% of your total hit gauge, right? So as you can see here, I have only like 70%, right? But if I go into hit using a hit engager, for example, 3 plus 4 here, boom, okay, boom, I have the full hit gauge, right? So this is very important with Lars, as you see later in the video. So firstly, when you go into manual hit, right, you only have access to two shoulder charges, right? Only two shoulder charges when you go into manual hit. This is very, very important because this limits the amount of times you actually have to mix your opponent or force them in a silent entry mix up, right? But if you go into hit with the hit engager, you can use it three times. Now this applies to so many characters in Tekken as well, just keep that in mind. But this is especially important with Lars because you want as much access as possible to the shoulder, right? Because like I said guys, he's never had anything that forces a mix up on block from silent entry. So you must try your best to get into hit using a hit engager. Unless of course you wanna like convert using you know combos and stuff like that, right? Unless you know that the combo will kill. Right? Like in that in that scenario, yeah, you can use hit situations, use a hit smash as well. But you must try your best to go into hit using a hit engager. Now this applies to so many characters in the game as well, but like I said with Lars, you really want to have as many shoulder charges as possible, so you want the maximum, which is three. Okay, so secondly, do not waste your hit, your hit smash, right? Because look at this, guys. If I go into hit and use my hit smash, right? Oh my god, Xbox, Jesus Christ. I lose my entire hit gauge, right? I use my entire hit, so it's wasted. I haven't even had the chance to use my, my shoulder bash, right? So what you want to do is try by all means to go into hit using a hit engager, right? Use maybe two of your shoulder bashes, right? And maybe for your last mix up, you use the hit engager, right? That way you have more layers to or more mix up opportunities on block, right? You can mix up from, uh, Okay, so the hit smash uh, puts Lars into DE, I believe, on block, right? So you do have a DE mix-up from the hit smash on block, right? So it's almost the same as using the shoulder bash. The only difference is the shoulder bash goes into silent entry while the hit smash on block goes into DE. So either way, you're still putting your opponent in a mix-up situation. The only difference being the silent entry mix-up is way better than the DE mix-up because DE does not have a launch from this, right? You can only go for law, the law check, very minimal law, or if you want the risky law, or the mids if you want, right? That's the only difference, but in a way, both give you a mix-up situation. So again, guys, do not waste your hit. Your hit smash, immediately you get into hit, right? You want, by all means, you want, by all means, to at least use two shoulder bashes before finally using your hit smash. It's so sick. Our boy is so good. It's insane. It's insane. So that's how you want to fully utilize Lars's shoulder bash force in hit. Uh, secondly, let's talk about how you must fully utilize the limited entry whilst in hit. Okay? So now, with a limited entry, you don't always want to use his shoulder bash to go into limited entry because you can cancel CE, right? Into limited entry, right? So by all means, try to not spam this so much. Like, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's good, right? But at a certain, at certain point in time, your opponent will make a read on you, right? They'll be able to see you transition from SE to, to limited entry, right? And probably interrupt you. Now, this is in hit, so let's do this, right? So, for you to get the limited entry mix up, you first have to cancel from CE to LE. So it takes so much time, right? The way I'm going with this is you do have down back 1 3 which immediately puts you into silent entry, right? So this makes this law in hit 
really really strong because you only have two moves i believe right you only have this uh what's standing one three uh two one as well but two one is a punish right for you to to force the mix up you have to get this on on hit so you basically have down back one three as your best option to quickly go into limited entry in hit to force the 50 50 between the low and the mid right so if you want to use limited entry mix-ups a lot whilst in hit try by all means to use down back one three now of course it's risky because it's a low high but you don't always have to commit right test them down back one just check them right remember you attack the hit gauge does not move because if you spam shoulder bash and do this it takes a while it's good but it takes a while and op your opponent will start interrupting your low hop kicks right power crushes stuff like that so down back one three puts you immediately into silent entry this is what makes it strong so guys i don't really want to make this video so long i just want to talk about our boy in hit because like i said our boy is strong hit lands is insane it's crazy like look at this like it's it's crazy you just get the mix up bro boom right they're not ducking oh look at the duck okay Boom, boom. Get launched. Why are you ducking, bro? Boom, Oki. Into mid, right? If you want to get into Oki, boom, hit dash. Screw. Bro, like, he's insane. His mix up potential is insane. Do not waste your hit by spamming hit smash. I've seen so many people do this, right? Boom. Or they do, like, you know, boom, into hit immediately. Unless maybe your opponent is like so close to dying, but do not do that, guys. You're wasting your mix-up potential with his character. It's insane. Bro. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this was my discussion video on Hit Lars. I really hope I got to you and it made sense. If you did find it interesting, please do consider subscribing if you're new. And don't forget to hit that like button, my boys. It's free of charge. Like, it's literally free. So, you know. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And yeah, GG. Our boy is strong. He's strong.